All right, y'all. So today we are going to be talking about sheep's head rigs. And I kind of got two options that are kind of the most popular sheep's head rigs out there. Uh, two of the ones that I use quite a bit. So today we are going to show you how we go about tying those. What we're going to start with first is our line. So this here is my braided main line. This is 20 pound Power Pro. Next we have our leader material, which for this I use 15 pound fluorocarbon. And it's actually a hybrid, as you can see here. So I guess it's kind of a mix of a fluorocarbon slash nylon hybrid. Price is much better than 100% fluorocarbon, but I have not seen a whole lot of a difference as far as performance. So the sheep's head are pretty finicky when it comes to leader material, but fishing up against the pilings and stuff like that, you also have got to be careful not to go too light on the leader. Uh, I found 15 is kind of a good spot. You are gonna lose fish if you're sheep's head fishing. It's pretty much guaranteed. Almost every time you go out, you're gonna at least lose one fish. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I tie the uni to uni. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube if you wanna search it, but I'm gonna run through it real quick here. So I'm gonna take my leader line, got my tag in here, main line over on this side. And I'm gonna cross with my leader material with my tag in on the right side. So with my left hand, I'm gonna hold my tag end of my main line and my leader line. I'm gonna take the tag end of my leader. I'm just gonna make a little loop, just like this. I'm gonna run that tag line over and under both the leader and the main line braid. I'm gonna do that two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten times. A little bit of saliva. You're gonna to wanna to grab the tag end of your leader and the other end of your leader. Use my teeth a lot with this. You're gonna to wanna to cinch that line down just a little bit. Not super tight. So next, we're gonna take the tag end of our braid and we're gonna make a loop the opposite direction. We're gonna go over top of our main line and our leader there. I'm gonna go do the same thing, go one, two, nine, and 10. Same thing, little saliva. We're gonna pull the tag in of our braid and the main line of our braid. You see that line cinched down. Now you are gonna grab your leader line here. I like to wrap it around a couple times. Take your main braid here, wrap it around. We're gonna cinch that knot down. Watch it get tight. I am, once you see that one line, the leader material kind of stick out like that. It is nice and tight. I'm gonna go trim that tag end of your leader. Trim the tag end of your braid. So that is my uni to uni that is gonna connect my braid to my leader here. And so that is the first step to tying on these sheep's head rigs. Now that we got our uni to uni from our braid 
to our floor carbon. I'm going to get the length of the leader material. And so as I stated before, when you're sheep's head fishing, you are guaranteed to get broke off. You're going to lose hooks. You're going to lose some rigs. So instead of doing a shorter leader, um, maybe like 12 to 18 inches, 24 inches even, I like to make my leader pretty long. That way if I do get broke off, instead of having to tie on a whole new leader, I can just tie on the hook right to what was frayed, or I can cut off what was frayed, tie on a new hook or a new jig straight to the line, not have to retie this uni to uni. So what I like to do is anywhere from three, honestly to six foot, um, with the uni to uni the tag lines are very small so it can go through the guides there uh, so you don't have to worry about that too much and when you're sheep's head fishing you're not really casting so it's not going to be any wear and tear on that knot uh, so I do like a really long leader so I'm going to go ahead and count out roughly three to five feet there Go ahead and cut that off my spool. And so now, as you see all this, I got a really long leader. That way, as I'm fishing, if this gets wore out rubbing up on the, the barnacles on the pilings, I can just cut off the bad line, tie straight back to my leader. I don't have to start from scratch. All right, so the first rig I'm gonna show y'all is more of a Carolina rig style. Um, so what you're going to do is just tie your hook straight to the end and so for this I have a size 6 J hook here and again I like the uni knots so I'm going to tie a uni knot onto this hook and so if you're not familiar with the uni you just go through the eye of the hook like so. And take the tag end, make you a loop, just as we did with the uni to uni. Go over and under. Two, three, four, five. I like to go at least five to six times. You can certainly go more, depending on what you're going after. I've not had this not fail me yet. A little saliva, the little teeth definitely helps pull the knot tight. So we're just going to pull, see if we can focus. Alright, so I'm just going to pull that knot not tight. I will grab that tag in with my teeth, pull it tight as well. Now that that knot is good and tight, I'm going to go ahead and cut that tag in off there. And so unlike a typical Carolina rig, instead of using an egg weight or something and a bead, I like to just use some split shot weights. And so on the size of them, the amount is definitely going to depend on the current and the conditions you're fishing. I try to start with as light as possible. I'm not 100% sure what size these are. Um, you just pick up some split shots at your local tackle shop. Try them out as you're fishing. If you need a little heavier, always add one on. So I like to go at least 24 inches up on the leader and you can go even more. Um, as you're fishing, you'll kind of figure out maybe kind of your sweet spot, what you like. So I'm just going to put that split shot right there. If you got some pliers, pinch it down. Hold it on there good. Again, I got another split shot here. We went out fishing this past weekend and I had to use two, so I had two crimped on there. But again, that is going to depend on your conditions and what suits you best. So this is the first rig. Again, I got 20 pound braid onto a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. Again, I got anywhere from three to six feet worth of this leader. 
and then that goes down to one split shot weight roughly 24 inches between my weight and my hook and then I got that down to a size 6 J hook there and this rig has caught a lot of sheep's head I see a lot of guys using this the only thing I'm not really crazy about with this rig is because when you're fishing this one your line is going to be tight right at this weight so when your weight's down and you got your uh, fishing rod up top you're going to have the tension there however there's not going to be that tension between your weight and your hook so that can kind of be a little more free line so you may not feel those bites quite as good um, and with sheep's head if you've not done a lot of sheep's head fishing they can be pretty sneaky they're good about jumping in still in your bait off the hook and they're gone and sometimes you never even feel it and as soon as you do feel that tap, you gotta set that hook and go because they're probably there. Um, so the this rig is good for kind of stealthiness and kind of hiding everything, but you may not feel that bite as good. Uh, but going into that, we're gonna switch over, show you how we tie on our next rig. So let's jump on into that one. All right, now that we got that first rig done, we are gonna jump on into the second rig. Again, starting with a 20 pound braid main line, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm gonna do a uni to uni again. Y'all just saw this one, so I'm gonna go through this one a little quicker. So you're gonna pull that tag into the braid, main line of the braid, slowly cinch that down. Get a good wrap of your two lines, pull them against each other, we're going to cinch those knots down right on top of each other, just like that. You see those knots are starting to cinch down, you can pull on those tag ends just to ensure that, that knot is getting tight there. So as you can see that knot is cinched down nicely. Go ahead and cut my tag ends off. Having a longer tag in makes tying this knot so much easier. When you make those loops and you go over and under, having a little more room to work with with a longer tag in will definitely make your life easier. All right, so we got our line to line connection there, uni to uni. Again, same as last time, we're gonna grab about three to six foot or as long as you would like. Honestly, the length does not matter that much. Like I said before, I just like a longer leader because I'm going to get broke off. This line is going to rub against those barnacles. It's going to get frayed. And instead of having to cut off your whole leader and start from scratch, you can just cut off what's bad, click it right there, tie on a new hook, and you are good to go. So with about I uh, probably got five to six feet here. The next rig we have is the swing jig. And so this one you can see it's got the weight on top kind of like a knocker rig does. However the connection between the weight and the hook as you can see there kind of allows that hook to move freely. As that weight is hanging that bait is going to be able to move freely which is going to give it more of a natural presentation and I think that weight on top like that kind of gives you a little more look of a natural crab or a crustacean or such. Um, so these swing jigs have really done good for me so far this year. Um, really like these. I currently are getting mine through Salty's Pompano Rigs. Same guy I get my Pompano Rigs from, which y'all have seen plenty of. He has linked down below. So I can go check that out and order these swing jigs from him. Also, uh, Bird of Prey has these same jigs as well. Pretty sure you can get those online. I don't believe Amazon has them. If they do, I will have them linked down below. But these are the jigs that I am currently using right now and they have been working for me. So just like the hook from the last rig, we are gonna run that line through the eye there. And I'm going to tie another uni knot 
make your loop over and under. For the line to hook connection, I like to have five to six wraps. Doing a line to line connection, I really like to have at least the 10 wraps. Really make sure it's cinched down tight. Um, I have in a bind tied the uni to uni with less than 10 just because I was in a hurry to get it back out there and it has done fine but if I got the time I like to at least make sure I got 10 wraps make sure I got a good strong knot because if your knot fails well everything else is pretty much useless so those are the two rigs I got for you got the swing jig here one of my favorites alright so that's gonna just about do it got the swing jig here one of my favorites really like that rig for for sheep's head fishing got the Carolina rig style here got the hook and the split shot weight there that rig also does well every time I go up sheep's head fishing I like to tie on both that way I have options that way if it doesn't seem like I'm getting the bites on the swing jig instead of having to retie rigs I can just switch rods drop down that Carolina rig does just fine and if I do get broke off on this one instead of having to retie everything I can just put that rod up real quick if the bite's hot drop another one down got baits down as quick as possible so always good to keep two rods on with you always good to have options tied on so tie on one swing jig tie on one of the Carolina rigs see which one works best for you Drop me a comment down below. Let me know which rig you like the best. Let me know if you've tried either one of them and have had more success out of one versus the other. Sheep's head fishing is about to be really good. I'm gonna have some more videos dropping this fall and this winter of sheep's head fishing. Hoping to do some catch and cooks as well. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing if you like surf fishing or any kind of saltwater fishing. I do a lot of beach fishing, some kayak fishing, as well as a little bit of fishing off the boat. So consider subscribing if you are into that kind of thing. Ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, y'all take care.